Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a video inside because it's so windy outside that you wouldn't be able to hear me. This is a follow-up on the heat experiments that we've done a while ago. Let me explain it. Okay, as you see what we have here is a little bit of rubber and scales. This means we can switch this on and it calibrates. And now we can hook it in and stretch it and now look what happens see it started with 433 and it's climbing downwards what's now happening is, is it's cooling down and as it cools down it loses energy and this means there's a lower there's a lower draw weight you see this slows down as the temperature gets close to room temperature here and after a while it will reach a point where it won't climb downwards any further okay okay it fell all the way to 227 now watch we take the heat gun and now see what happens to the value see how it's climbing up let's see if you can get it to the original four point something What we're doing is, we're adding heat energy, which means the draw gets harder. We're reducing entropy here. Okay, so a little over four. Okay, now watch it falling again. It's now feeling pretty warm, and it's cooling, of course, instantly, and see how the draw decreases immediately. In the months it will have gotten back to the temperature it had a minute ago, the draw will be back to where it used to be. So if you heat rubber you can let it in, uh, lie in cocked condition forever and heat it up and then you got your original power back. So what do we do here at the Slingshot channel if we know this? Well, we build a crazy contraption. I present to you the Entropy Slayer 2000. It's the world's first encapsulated, heating-equipped slingshot crossbow. Let, let me explain its features to you. First, you can open it, just like this. And inside, what you see is heating films. Each one of them takes three amperes of power, so it's a 108 watts of uh, energy. And um, see, it's got a normal slingshot band in here. Um, and um, so that the heat does not escape, it has a brush installed here. You see, it's just a brush, so the heat stays trapped inside of it. There's a little temperature probe here for the thermometer. And there's a release of course and the release has to block the way to this so the heat cannot escape further on we have a thermometer here that can toggle between inside temperature and outside temperature so this temperature measures the uh, temperature of the environment and this one says how warm it is inside of this box and of course it will climb up as soon as I switch the heating on which I can do by opening this safety catch and switching on the power. And now it starts to heat up and the temperature in this thing will increase. It goes all the way up to 40 centigrades. That's about as hot as rubber can tolerate on a very hot summer day. It is equipped with a high capacity accumulator pack. In this case it has 3.3 amperes which means it can maintain this for about 20 minutes or so. Not very long, but it doesn't take long to heat up the little amount of air contrapped in here. Let's shoot with it. Okay, let's load it first. So we open the coffin, and then we take 
the entire release trigger assembly part out of it. And we open the lock. Then we take the slingshot ball, in this case a 20 mm steel ball, put it in the pouch, slip it in like this, and lock it with the trigger. And now what we can do is, we can simply pull it back like this and cock it like this. Close the coffin. So if you want to cock it without uh, having a vise, you put it down, you stomp on the loop with your foot and then you simply cock the weapon. Just very normal. Just like this. Okay, and Fire! Fire! I like how it's sticking out its tongue. <laughs> so now I will cock it and then let it sit around for a week before I present it to you guys next time. And uh, before I do, I will simply make sure that I switch on the heating. <laughs> okay guys that's it for today i do have a few bonuses of new slingshots that i made for you should you be interested in that otherwise thanks and bye bye this first one is probably the most ugly slingshot i've ever made it's really ugly but it's very practical because it's the quickest band change there is see it's got like you simply put the bands in close the grip and you're done This shoots tubular bands, it shoots, it shoots all kinds. Okay, so the last one for today is this one. I call this the flying buttresses because it picks up a piece of architecture that you actually see in Gothic churches. And this is supportive, like arcs, called buttresses that are used to stabilize this frame, which is normally way too thin. And you see it even has some motion in it, see? If I press on it, it has a little spring effect inside. But it's, it's a very stable construction that can take my strongest bands. Put on Thuja wood scales. And of course it has the modified hammerhead uh, handle, which is really wonderful. It's a great slingshot. I like it very much. Well, that was it really for today. Thanks and bye-bye.